Colleges that offer degrees, in other words, degree colleges will be allowed to affiliate themselves with a university of their choice. In other words, if you have a degree college in your area, that college has the option of affiliating itself. After all, it has to afford degrees. How is it going to award the degrees if it is not affiliated with a university? And so the onus is on the institution, the college. Which university are you going to get affiliated with? Now, if universities across the country operate at par in the same manner, are of the same quality and standard, it really doesn't matter. Otherwise, what these degree colleges are look, going to look for is universities with lower standards, easy to affiliate with, and their degree may or may not be worth much. After all, when students come to degree colleges, they are not investigating what university is awarding them the degree. As long as the degree is being awarded, they really are not looking at the university. They're looking at the institution and especially for girls, when a degree college is close to their homes, they are allowed, permitted by their families to go to those degree colleges close to their homes, opposed to going away to Punjab University or Balochistan University or some other university, maybe even in another city, another province of the country. So colleges will be affiliated with universities. That is a requirement. But the colleges have the option of choosing the university, fulfilling and meeting all requirements for affiliation of that particular university. Obviously, the college will have to follow all procedures for application, submitting all the papers, documents, visits by the universities to check on facilities, quality, faculty, students, and all that before awarding the affiliation. So a long process tedious at times, but required, because if we want our female students especially getting higher education, this is a step in the right direction. Otherwise, getting to universities for many would be impossible. In big institutions, centers for advanced studies and research be established. Again, we see a focus on research from the 92 policy. And in the 98 policy also, we see this emphasis on research. So, if institutions will have centers for advanced studies and research, these centers will guarantee that research happens, quality research happens, ethical research happens. After all, things like plagiarism and those kinds of issues which are so common and so easy to indulge in today have to be addressed. So, what kind of research is conducted in a particular institute? Is it ethical? How do you treat animals involved in research? How do you use human beings as subjects for research? And all those kinds of things will need to be addressed before a research can be permitted, allowed, justified on campus. Research is needed. It is key to the survival and life of any university anywhere. And all good universities produce quality research in time, and they are not running a race. It is not a race for quantity. How many papers have you published? That is not a criteria for judging good quality research. The number of papers actually is a downward trend in the quality of education. You cannot, in any discipline, produce 20 papers a year. It's just impossible. And also it is not et ethical to put your name as the supervisor on a student's research. I am paid for supervising the student. That's my job. I do, I'm not getting paid to put my name on my student's research paper. So issues like that would need to be addressed by this particular Centers for Advanced Studies and Research at our universities.